All right, so welcome to the day in the life of me. Just a general contractor-ish. Got some stuff to do today, going between job sites. No actual, like, boots on the ground work besides a couple couple things today. But we'll go, you guys can see what it's like in my boots. And uh, I'll show you a job site that I messed up on. And stick around. All right, getting out of the subdivision. 6.35, about five minutes behind schedule. We're not too bad. But let's get over to the dump trailer, pick it up, collect the check, and on to the next job site. Oh, it's a little chilly outside. Ah, that's not too bad. It's only 29 degrees. So, all right. All right. So, one thing about having an early start is 7.15 ETA. So, we got, yeah, well, 38, 30, 38 minute drive. So, it'd probably be like a 45 minute to almost 50 minute drive and there's traffic here, so. Oh, uh, it's nice. Time for some coffee, 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 coffee. I don't know about you guys here, but here in Michigan, there's always construction, always. I think that's uh, part of the plan here in Michigan. The roads have never been good. They've only been uh, drivable, so. Yeah, we're almost there. We got uh, made up a minute. We're getting there. And we're almost here. Looks like the truck's in the driveway, so I gotta get the customer over the truck. That's not me right there. That's not me. This is us. All right. Parking in the dump trailer, no problem. All right. All right, we are on our way out of here. Let's get the heck out of here. It's still, it's about 7.40. Just got done talking to the customer, hooking everything up. <sighs> Let's go dump this. All right, heading off to our job sites. Pick up some garbage to fill the dump trailer. Let's go dump it. <sighs> Good old Garden City. Always got to uh, take into account, you know, every time you go to a job site, customers, if you're subbing it out, Customers are gonna to want to talk to you, say hi, you know, how you doing, kind of stuff. So, which is fantastic. You just got the time's got to be allotted for us all. So, let's uh, navigate through these little streeties and get on out of here. All right, next job site. Basically, just grabbing garbage. This is just a bathroom tile job in Waterford. So, grabbing some garbage, throwing in the dump trailer onto the next job, just to kind of clean up the job sites. So, yeah, there's my tile guys outfit right there. House. Let's get to work. All right, so got the garbage in the dump trailer. Let's head on out to next job site. It's actually just down the street here, so it's kind of nice. These are these are nice job sites to have. So I'm not even, I'm not even gonna tarp the uh, dump trailer up because it's just down the street here. So got some garbage in there, and uh, yeah, let's get on rolling. All right, so there's that job site. And just turned around. I live up on the hill. Like it's not really a hill. There's no real, real big mountains, obviously in Michigan. So there's like small hills and really small hills. It's pretty flat here, except for the UP. But let's get on over here. All right, what you guys aren't seeing right here is all the phone calls and text messages I make, you know, off camera when I'm driving. So I average between probably 40 and 60-ish phone calls and te or phone calls a day, you know subcontractors suppliers customers you know wifey so i mean there's some there is some you know there's obviously text messages and everything like that as well but some days are on the lighter side today was you know pretty much average i i, I think i'm counting them up around 50 51 phone calls today so just keep that in mind there's always somebody to talk to i've obviously i missed a couple there's people on my list here i didn't call today so I'll, you know, that, that rolls over and tomorrow i'll reach out to them and basically touch base with them and text messages and emails all that kind of stuff that's the time i take care of that when i get home after the day and uh, get in front of my computer and quickbooks so we're we're pulling and up right here, here to the job sir. and it's my other dumpster guy calling me all right back at my truck and uh actually back in my house and we just got done loading up the truck and the trailer it is uh, almost 10 o'clock in the morning so we're gonna go grab a little snack from the house and get on our way go dump this load pick up some stuff from home depot drop it off at the deck job site and then go get some 21 aa let's get to it 
Uh, waiting in line. It is 10.32. Yep. So over a half an hour to get here. But, well, we've been sitting in line for a couple minutes anyway. So <clears throat> let's see what we weigh. Let's go. Should be a pretty light load. We are at 17,860, That is it. Let's take a look. Looks good. Let's get out of here. This is the boring part. Yeah, I probably blew through that stop sign. All right, let's go up to my favorite little spot over here, the contracting pull-through parking. All right, last stop before we head over to the other job site, but I got some checks to cash. So we are in a Kroger. We got the uh, Comerica Bank, a uh, little Comerica Mart in here. So this is my go-to for depositing checks. Yeah, I can do them remotely, but with larger checks, sometimes they, they have a hold or they, they, they act funny. So I just go in there and deposit them in, in person. So that's what we're doing. In case you're wondering, I miss a 50 gallon tank or so, but I fill up about once a week. So about four times a month is what I fill up. Let's go get some 21 AA. Right over there. It's an empty. All right.
half yards in the back of the uh, dump trailer. That's all I had to cash for. They wanted cash at the gravel yard, so I only had uh, 900 on cash. So we got uh, about 18 yards for 900 bucks. 21 AA delivered. So not too bad a price, actually. Uh, I paid definitely paid more. I have paid less, but definitely paid more. But uh, we're going to go on to the job site, dump some gravel. Downtown Weberville, Michigan. And you're right, this is the only light in the town. And we're through. All right. All right, so on the pole barn job site, delivering some more 221 AA. This is as far as I go. This is only two and a half yards, but you wouldn't know it, but it probably weighs probably 5,000 pounds. No own skid steer yet, we rent these. I did not want to go any further because you guys can see I don't need to get stuck. Let's actually get a better better spot. Hold on. Much better. All right, what you guys aren't seeing here is my mistake. Probably my first, hopefully my last mistake of the year, but we know that's not true. This actually is our second time doing these footings, all oh, kind of. We had to move, or I had to move the barn. You can see I had from the street. Uh, the township told me 100, 100 feet from the center of the street. I wrote that down as my notes. And then when they approved the, uh, the plans and everything, um, they didn't mention 120 feet from the center street. So I had originally at 120 or actually 105 feet And now they came back and said it's got to be 120 feet. Yeah, I could fight it, but that's not gonna do my customer any favors. So $4,900 in the hole. It's what it cost me to have my guys back out here today Deliver some more 21 AA you see there and have them report footings So it's a big it's a mistake for sure oversight but it is what it is so i just stopped over to see this is on the side of the road for sale so i just checked it out it's a 22 foot with a 10 foot dovetail hydraulic i'm just checking it out all right going back to my mistake my 4900 dollars mistake it's you know it's, it's a lot of money for sure uh, it's not going to break me but i absolutely i damn well i'm not making that mistake again i'm getting everything in writing um and i'm just i'm not doing that again for sure but good learning experience you gotta learn from your mistakes hope you guys learn from mine Make sure you have offsets and variances in writing so you can, you know, you can enforce them and follow them. I took somebody's word for it and I wrote it down. Maybe I wrote it down wrong. I'll take blame for it. It's why, it's why my customers hire me uh, for this kind of stuff. But yeah, $4,900 mistake. And uh, yeah, that's just, I mean, what are you gonna do? We're just driving back down, gonna get some more materials. Uh, get on with the rest of the day but that's 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 all you can do so that's just my mistake sharing with you guys um hopefully you learn from it but make sure you know cross your t's and dot your i's because you know things like this happen in the contracting world you just gotta you have to have enough uh, capital to assume them if it's your fault or you can build a customer if it's you know something that was unforeseen circumstances all right Lowe's. let's go see if they got some sluter a little dirty it's all right All right, so this is where my uh, day pretty much ends. Usually, you know, sitting in front of the computer, 
QuickBooks, you know, doing Instagram, social media, Facebook posts about the business, all that good stuff. So, I don't know, got to fix the hair. It is just uh, about 4.15ish or so. So, got to, you know, put another hour in or so and then uh, family will be home and get on with the rest of the day. But that's the day in the life. A little bit more driving than usual for sure today, but some days are more, most days are less. And we'll go from there, right? So, appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Hi. Hi. Come here. Come here.